Welcome to the Unapologetic Man Podcast. The only podcast that's all about self-improvement, confidence, success, women, and being a man without making any apologies for it. What is up, your champions? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of the UMP. If you clicked on this one, smack yourself on the ass, brother. You are a goddamn champion, and I know you are going to be successful in your life because a lot of times I look at statistics, I look at the analytics, and guys just cherry pick content of getting the best attraction building material, getting the best ways to get a girl into bed. But when you click on something like this, it shows me that you're really into self-development, you're really into improving your life in more ways than just getting your dick wet. And I'll tell you what, if you want to get laid, improving your life is the absolute best thing you can do. Learning how to use this thing called the law of attraction, which basically dictates what you think about is attracted to you, whether positively or negatively. When you learn how to master that and actually control it, you take possession of control of your life and you get to map out your life exactly how you want it. Who wouldn't want to do this? I'll tell you who wouldn't want to do this. People who don't want to believe that this is the way it works, people who want to take the easy way out, people who don't believe that they're as powerful as they really are. But I'm telling you, brother, as I've said many times recently in similar episodes to this one, you, my friend, are a very powerful creator, and we are going to learn how to leverage that creativity today by what I call vibration stacking. This is some gangster ass shit that I actually found out myself by practicing this stuff and by going through the steps of, yes, trying to improve my life, trying to get it to the point where I can not only map out what's going to happen to me, but predict with reasonable dental certainty that these things are going to happen. It's almost like living a life that you've planned in advance. And I'm going to teach you how to do that today. Now, this goes into a previous episode that I recorded called Tactical Visualization. I got so much love on that episode that it really made me realize that most of you champions are interested in learning about this stuff. Most of you legends do want to take control of your life and map it out in the way that you want to map it out rather than being a powerless victim to circumstances that you seemingly don't have control over. You want to take control. You want to take the steering wheel and say, you know what? I want this life and I'm going to drive this vehicle exactly towards that life. And you do it, boys, by the way of your vibrations. Ever hear that song, good, 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 good vibrations? That's exactly what I'm talking about here. Gentlemen, this is how your life works. Your thoughts are constantly creating a certain vibration that's put out to the universe. The universe works strictly on vibrations. They've even done scientific studies of this that everything, including the cell phone you're listening to this on, the clothes that you're wearing, perhaps the car that you're sitting in while you're listening to this, is vibrations. They're just happening in different frequencies. And the vibrations that you're putting out via your thoughts, via your words, and of course, via your actions are attracting similar vibrations back to you. So I want you to imagine in this episode that everything is vibrations. You can even look at it kind of like the matrix where Neo eventually sees that everything is code. Well, it's very similar because vibrations are in essence codes. They're the code of the universe and where you're vibrating is attracting back to you similar vibrations. Let's take a very simple example. You get somebody who's very negative. What kind of vibrations is that person putting out? Obviously, they're putting out very negative vibrations. Not only negative, but low vibrating, listen to that term, low vibrating vibrations. They're vibrating very slowly. They have a negative pitch or tone to them. And of course, what gets attracted back to them? Things that are vibrating at the same level. I don't know about you, but when I look back through my life, it almost seems like I've lived in different realities. When I was in my 20s, as I've discussed recently, I was a real piece of shit. I took advantage of people. I was vibrating a very low level, and I always attracted to myself negative circumstances, negative people, and it seemed like I was always under this cloud of calamity, bad luck. Shit would always just happen to me, and I didn't understand why. Now, fast forward into my 40s, I'm a very positive person. I try to help out others. I try to give value, as I do in this podcast. I love and value the shit out of my clients so much, in fact, that I tear the skin off my back just to try to get them success with women. And what does my life look like now? It looks like a dream come true. What's the common denominator? It's the vibration that I'm putting out. 
So the very theme of this episode, once again, is what kind of vibrations you put out is what you're attracting back to yourself. So you have to be very careful about the kind of vibrations that you're putting out. What are vibrations dictated by? As I said previously, it's your thoughts, it's your words, and it's your actions. Very simply, boys, to get the life that you want, you have to be vibrating at a level of feeling good most of the time. And I'm going to get into how to do that. Getting a life that you don't want, you're going to be vibrating at a level of feeling like shit, complaining, having a victim mentality, making excuses, not keeping your word, basically being a pussy. So when your life is shitty, it's oftentimes created by you through that selfishness, that negativity, screwing over other people, complaining all the time, having a victim mentality. When your life is good, on the other hand, you step away from those negative thoughts, which can be very seductive, as we all know, because they're derived of the ego, they're derived of putting other people down, putting hate out there, feeling like a victim. All of that is weakness, but it's very seductive. Instead, you take discipline, you focus on positivity, and yes, boys, you make a conscious effort to control your vibrational frequency. So broken down from a very 10,000-foot perspective, you want to try to feel good and be in a positive state as much as possible. Why is that? Well, I just explained. Because if you're putting out good feeling vibes, if you're putting out love and compassion towards others, if you're putting out appreciation and thanking what you have instead of complaining about what you don't have, you are going to attract more of that to you. Why? It's a vibrational frequency. If I sit here thanking, which by the way I do, you for listening to my podcast, and I do it every single day. Yes, you, brother, you listening. I know you're out there, and I know that you jive with what I say. You and I are homies, dude, and I literally thank every day you. I say thank you, brother, for listening to my podcast. Thank you for coming back. What happens? More people come and listen to my content because I'm thinking, I'm feeling appreciative, which basically is a statement to the universe. This is the vibration of beingness. What's that vibration? People listening to my podcast. Why is that happening? Because I'm thinking for it. I'm putting it into reality. Therefore, more of it comes to me. The more that comes to me, the more I'm thankful for it and the more that's created. If on the other hand, you're complaining about something, what is that a statement to the universe? This exists. This thing that I'm complaining about, that I'm feeling a victim about, exists. Why does it exist? Because you're a very powerful creator. You are making it exist by your thoughts, words, and actions. Complaining, that's words. That's really powerful. You're putting out the vibration of whatever it is you're complaining about, such as not getting enough girls. So you're putting out the frequency of, I don't get enough girls, I'm not attractive, girls don't like me, and the universe basically says, okay, you don't get enough girls, you're unattractive, girls don't like you, got it. I'm gonna send you back that vibration. It's all dictated by that vibrational note that you're almost like playing off a guitar. Think about it. When you hit that note, it sounds differently than the other note. We have high vibrating notes, we have low vibrating notes, all of which attract back to us notes of a similar frequency, notes of a similar vibration. So from this point forward, you have to be very careful about how you're feeling. Now this goes into vibrational stacking. You may say to me, yeah, dude, easier said than done. I don't make enough money. I don't get chicks. I'm fucking miserable. In fact, some of you are goddamn depressed, even suicidal. How am I going to get to the point where I'm feeling joyous and abundant when there's all this suffering going on, not only in my life, but in the life of others? This is vibrational stacking. Once you get good at this and you make it a daily practice, and I'm going to tell you, you should do 15 minutes a day. How long is it going to take for me to explain this to you? About 15 minutes. And you should do this about 15 minutes a day. You will start getting out of that negative vibration into a positive vibration. The after effects of your negative vibration from you in the past will begin to change into positive circumstances, people, and situations that you can be appreciative for, and then it's a snowball. You get to the point where I'm at where you're in a constant state of enthusiasm, of appreciation. Yeah, sometimes bad shit happens, but the vast majority of my existence is spent in feeling good, feeling appreciative, feeling that full of love. So the way you do it is you stack vibrations. Because if I expect you, and if you expect yourself, to suddenly go from a place of victim mentality, feeling negative, into a place of feeling joy, love, peace, and enthusiasm for all of humanity, that's going to be impossible. 
you can't get to that vibration because it's vibrating at such a high level compared to where most of us are starting. And I say us because I too started at a very low place, as I've explained in recent episodes. So the way to do it is to stack and to build up to that vibration as a daily practice on a day-to-day basis for 15 minutes. The way to do it is to start with something really small that makes you feel good. An example, think of a puppy dog. Think of a kitten. Think of a cute little chicken, a baby chicken. Something just cute and that makes you feel good and that's super easy to make you feel in a better vibrational state. Me, I think of my daughter. Every time I look at her, every time I see her, there's a picture of her on my phone, I feel good. Now, this is step one of, let's say, about six steps to get into this higher vibrational frequency. We're just easing into the vibration of feeling better than we did previously. Because again, if you're spending your days feeling like shit, complaining, being negative, and basically being resentful for your life, you're going to get more of that. And I don't want that for you, brother. So you have to make a conscious effort to do this. And again, all you need to do in the beginning is 15 minutes a day. Then it's going to be your predominant state, and then you can expect your life to unfold in the way that you want it to for the rest of your life. I think it's a pretty good investment, and I hope you agree. So once again, we think of some kind of baby. That really works well, right? A baby chicken, a baby mouse, a baby frog, a baby fucking parrot, whatever you want to imagine, you start with that and you feel good. Then you move up to the next step, whatever that is for you. Maybe a sick car that you really want. What would it be like to get that car. Or if you're at this place where the second step could be females, maybe a hot chick sucking your dick, whatever makes you feel good and whatever you feel is the next step. And then we take another step up after that. For me, it would be something like taking an awesome vacation, being on the beach with Marissa and Lucia, my four-year-old little girl, smiling, being completely shredded and just feeling good. And always ask yourself, what would it feel like if... So again, we start with something really small, a baby chicken, then we go up to something a little bit bigger, having some kind of sick car, a sick motorcycle, maybe going out and winning off a bunch of chicks, which means a lot of girls are like checking you out, putting their phone numbers in your pocket, that kind of vibe to make you feel even better. And again, the question, what would it feel like if? So if you're starting with a kitten, let's say, and kittens are so goddamn cute, and you're just kind of imagining in your head like petting this kitten, and it's like, meh. And you're like, oh my hell, this thing is so cute. You already feel a little bit better. In fact, you probably feel better just by listening to what I just said. And if you don't, you're one dark son of a bitch. I'm just messing with you. But you probably feel better just listening to that, don't you? Then you just go one step up, whatever that means for you. Maybe it's winning a couple hundred bucks in the lottery or getting a hot chick to kind of turn around and smile at you. That's one step up. And you ask yourself, what would it feel like if? What would it feel like if... I go to the supermarket right now and there's a banging chick in the deli section and she turns and she smiles at me and she kind of puts her hair over her ear and she looks down. What would that feel like if that happened? Man, that would feel good. Then we go to the next step. What would it be like if I was making whatever it is you want to make per month? 25,000 a month, let's say. What would that feel like if I were making 25,000 a month? Then you sit in that vibration and you can see the feeling, the good feeling of making 25 Gs a month is way more powerful than the good feeling of imagining a kitten, but you built up to that feeling. Then you can go even a step further. What would it be like if I were making 100 grand a month? I had a super smoking hot girlfriend and I didn't have to work another day in my life. I was doing exactly what I wanted to do without any chance of failure. God damn, that would feel good. Now you're in a high vibrational frequency. Once you get to the place where you literally have a smile on your face, or even a tear in your eye, you are vibrating at a high vibrational frequency. And don't underestimate the power of this. This is how you attract what you want in your life. It's all about vibrations, brother. So you need to get really comfortable with the fact that, yeah, it may be cheesy, but I'm building up to this good place where I might even cry. If you're crying out of happiness, brother, your vibration is humming at such a high rate, you are going to attract what you want even faster. You are going to invoke that law of attraction to bring you what you want in an infinitesimally small amount of time compared to if you were vibrating at a slower level. So higher vibrations is all about building up to it and it's all about 
bringing to you what you want in your life. How freaking awesome is this? Now, of course, it's difficult to go from a low vibrating place to a high vibrating place. In fact, some of you may be resenting what I'm saying right now because that's the low vibrational you saying, oh, this is bullshit. This doesn't work. This is airy fairy BS. I'm not going to do this shit. This guy's an idiot. And maybe you'll even send me hate mail, thus proving to me that you're vibrating at a very low level. If you were vibrating at a high level, you would never write another hate mail to anybody. You would never leave a bad comment. You would never insult anybody. You would have compassion and love in your heart. And I'll tell you, you would attract to yourself everything you've ever wanted, your deepest desires. It's all about vibration. So now we're vibrationally stacking and you need to decide what is the life that I want to have and you need to make a vibrational stack that goes up to it. So, for example, you want to be completely shredded. It's one of my big goals right now. I want to be shredded for summer. I'm getting really close. What I do is imagine myself looking in the mirror exactly the way I want to look. I have it picture perfect in my head. And I always ask myself, what would it feel like if I look like that? Some days I can get there quickly. Some days I'm feeling like shit. I'm pissed off. I'm a human being. So I need to vibrationally stack to get up to there. First thing I do is imagine a kitten. Then I imagine my child. Then I imagine all the people listening to my podcast. And then I imagine being completely shredded. All these things really make me happy. If, on the other hand, you're trying to get a certain amount of money each month, first, again, you start with the puppy dog. Then you start with the chick sweating you. Then you start by winning a vacation. Then you start with the feeling of making, say, for example, $10,000 a month. If that's your goal, what would it feel like if I got there? So you stack up once again to that high vibrational frequency and you do it for every single aspect of your life. I would choose the top five. Your health and your body is a big one. Your relationships, meaning how many chicks are you yanking or perhaps you meet your wife. Your social situation, what are your friends like? What is your tribe like? And then such things as hobbies, adventures, having a good time. I consistently visualize traveling to such places like Australia, England, I really like to go to the Middle East. All these places that I'm constantly asking myself, what would it feel like if I was there? What would it feel like if I went to Australia and met all my Australian clients and they took me out on the night of the town and I'm talking to all these hot Australian chicks and then I get to go surfing in Australia, maybe go hang out with the Aborigines and learn about their ancient wisdom. Already, dude, I'm feeling the high vibrational frequency. So this is fun, but don't let those low vibrations pull you back from this. So how long does it take? 15 minutes. 15 minutes a day, just like I spoke about in tactical visualization, which was an episode I released about a month ago, maybe six weeks. If you haven't heard it yet, you should definitely go listen to it. About 15 minutes a day, you should go through those avenues of your life. Finances, health, relationships, hobbies, etc., and get yourself vibrationally stacked to that level by using this technique that I created. It is literally a law of attraction nitro boost. Law of attraction dictates, once again, just to get it deep inside your head, that your predominant vibration on a day-to-day -day basis is going to attract to yourself that which you're vibrating at. Now, you may be asking, well, 15 minutes a day of feeling good and then 23 hours and 45 minutes of feeling bad. Here's the thing, brothers. Feeling good is infinitely more powerful than feeling bad. So yes, just that 15 minutes a day, even if you are vibrating at a low level, will not only overcome it, but that 15 minutes will leak into the rest of your day. You'll just start feeling better. You'll start being more optimistic. You'll start being nicer to people. Stop sending things like hate mail and angry letters to people or flipping people off. You'll just get out of that vibration and you're slowly easing yourself out of this dark, hellish dream of you creating a nightmare for yourself out of your thoughts and out of your vibrations. The nightmare comes to you and then you create it again because you focus on it. And it's a self-perpetuating mechanism that works in the other way as well. So let's take control, gentlemen. 15 minutes a day, I want you to vibrationally stack to a good feeling and ask yourself that all important question. What would it feel like if? If you do this for the next year, I guarantee you, your Uncle Mark Singh, to you personally, that your life will look completely different. Is it worth doing now that I've told you that? Of course it is. So get out there, practice this, stack it to a high vibration, and the better you feel, the more emotional you can get. And yes, even shedding a tear out of your non-shooting eye, of course, even shedding a tear 
is a super high level that you can be assured is going to attract you exactly what you want. Gentlemen, we are human beings who are evolving. We're not only evolving in the ways of our bodies, in the ways of our intelligence, but we're evolving spiritually. And this is the next step of evolution. No longer being a victim of random circumstances, feeling like we have no control. No, 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 no. Those days are gone. The new evolution of human consciousness is taking conscious control of your life and understanding that positivity and feeling good, vibrating at a high frequency will always bring to you what you want and suffering goes down exponentially. We don't have to suffer the way we have been suffering. It's our thoughts that have perpetuated it. It's history of human suffering that keeps perpetuating itself under this false belief that I have no control, life fucking sucks, life's a bitch and then you marry one. All those thoughts are just gonna create hell for yourself. So take control, gentlemen, 15 minutes a day. Is it worth it? Goddamn right it is. And that starts today. Vibration stack to that high level of vibration. Focus on what you want. Have no other option. And even if you are vibrating at a low level, if you recognize it during the day, be like, dude, why am I thinking this? Why am I letting myself do this? Like Mark said, thoughts are creative. Why don't I choose a different thought? Or at that very moment, you put on a song you love that makes you feel good. A song that just brings out that high vibration inside yourself because that too will attract yourself more high vibrational circumstances, people, and situations to keep you on that perpetual upward route of being able to get what you want at will. So gentlemen, I hope this helped you. All I ask is that you try this for the next week. See how you feel, see what starts happening in your life, and that alone will prove to you that this shit works. It has changed my life, so use this technique, vibrational stacking, and always remember, ask yourself that question, what would it feel like if? All right, gentlemen, I do appreciate you listening. I draw podcasts on Mondays and Thursdays, so please stay tuned for the next one, and I will see you in the next episode.